What a shame. Here we go. I've read about Repcon. I think they did some work with the... <clears throat> the government before the war. Rockets and some energy weapon prototypes, I think. Plasma rifles. They were intended to replace the P-94 plasma caster. There was some corporate espionage going on between Poseidon Energy's Project Semele and whatever was going on here. Stop thinking so much. Thanks. to Repcon Headquarters, Rocketeer. Come all this way to see our little facility, have you? I'm here to answer any and all questions you may have, within specified parameters. And if you'd like, I can provide a tour of our museum. Excellent, excellent. Please be patient. The tour will begin in just a moment. Ready for... Hello? Please remember, visiting hours are from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Please show your badge or make your way out of the building. For the Repcon Tour, Rocketeers, courtesy of the fine folks at Robco, I'll be your guide today on the path of scientific discovery. In the lead line case behind me is a spent radioactive rod from one of our old reactors. No need to stand too close. Let's move along, shall we? Look here. A row of multicolored plasma fumes. Careful. They may look safe to drink, but your stomach is the last place they should be. Why the difference in cylinder size? Refining our production methods has resulted in higher yields of fuel over time. That's why. To my right, you can see a sample of some old safety barrels Repcon once used to store radioactive waste. Perfectly safe. On my left is an example of a mountain of rep... You have been warned. Please vacate the... On safety barrels, some legislators... A few moments later... How may I serve you, mistress? Yes? Did you have a...
May I serve you, mistress? My best. Valid facial pattern detected. Hello, Mrs. Millet. I hope... Of course, of course. The 
keep you. I serve you, mistress. Don't let me keep you.
found the missing patrols, or was something else on your mind? They were all dead then. I suppose I'm not surprised. We have few friends in the world above, and many enemies. But we must turn our minds to other matters. When I sent out those patrols, I also sent three knights out on scouting missions. When the patrols failed to return, we assumed the worst, and sent a single communication to the scouts to hold position and maintain radio silence. I want you to contact those scouts and gather their reports. Like the patrols, they have devices on them that will enable you to track them. When you find them, tell them you're my representative and ask them if the bears are still hunting. That should get them to talk to you. Return when you've gathered all of their reports. Okay, I'll do my best. What do you want? And don't try anything funny. You speak truly, for it is unlikely that an outsider would know both the Elder's name and that passphrase. Very well. 
I've been observing the penal facility there in the distance for some time now, after having followed some rather disturbing rumors. The facility was run by the NCR for a time, but the prisoners overcame their guards and now use the prison as a base from which to conduct raids. What puzzles me is why these men have been allowed to run wild for so long unchecked. Why has the NCR not retaken this place? Give this to the Elder. My observations are all within. Perhaps he will have a better idea of what this situation portends. Don't take another step if you value your life. For what purpose do you approach me? Strange that the Elder should send an outsider, but I suppose he has his reasons. My observations have mostly focused on the small town to the south of here. It was cruelly attacked, its inhabitants slain nearly to the last. That such an act could occur so far west is nearly unthinkable. The NCR has forces in all directions, and an outpost scant miles west from here. That they have not responded to this violence shows either an unwillingness or inability to properly defend their borders, which is telling. I've collected such musings in this report. Please take it to the Elder. Approach slowly, stranger. If you have no business with me, then go. Then I am sworn to report. I've been dividing my time between the camps to the north and south of here. One belongs to the NCR, the other to a band of slavers known as Caesar's Legion. I was sure the NCR would quickly win, but that has not happened. Instead, the two sides maintained a long stalemate, and only after an extended duration did the NCR finally destroy its opponent. When they did, it appeared they did so with the help of fresh reinforcements. I do not believe they could have managed the feat without them. That savages such as these could last so long against the NCR is troubling. Please, take my findings to the Elder. He'll know what to make of this.
Have you had any luck finding the scouts? Or did you have something to discuss? Good. Let's take a look. Hmm. If I'm reading this right, it appears that the NCR's grip on this region is nowhere near as firm as I thought. I'll have to review these in detail, but these reports have given me much to think about. Thank you, Outsider. You've become someone I can count on, so I believe I can share something rather confidential with you. I would like you to find the components we need to fix this bunker's air filtration system. I cannot overstate the importance of this task. See Senior Knight Lorenzo for the details. He's the one who brought the matter to my attention and the only other person who is aware of it. Good to see you again. What can I help you with? So now I'm going to have your death on my conscience too? Great. No, I heard you quite clearly. You're being sent off to be killed like the others. You think you're the first person the Elders trusted with this? He sent three of our patrols out looking for those components and they're all dead. I was the one who supplied the Elder with the location of possible sites where we could find the components, so their deaths are my fault. And now it's your turn. Well, don't say you weren't warned. I won't take the blame when you die horribly. But I can tell you're getting impatient. The items I'll need to keep the system running are a differential pressure controller, a reverse pulse cleaner, and several HEPA cartridge filters. At present, my best guess for finding the items would be to search any of the old vaults in the area. Those vaults were usually built much like these military bunkers, even using the same contractors in their constructions at times. I'll mark the vault's locations on your map. Best of luck to you. There have been reports that the NCR is moving more and more troops into the area. Looks like break time's over. Bad guys!
She can't do this. It's done. We're done. Nothing's done. She's got the authority. The only thing she can't do is change her own fate. Nothing says she can't change the selection process for future overseers. I say she can't. You shouldn't have toyed with her like that, Roy. We still have the majority. We don't vote for anything anymore. I'm not talking about voting. What then? You want to have a sit-in? A hunger strike? Not exactly. Maybe march into her office with torches and pitchforks? Yes. Come on. I mean it. What? Start a revolution? Laws don't outlast their governments. Roy, all we have to do is wait until someone from Justice Block gets picked for Overseer. Then we have them change the law back. There won't be any blocks after the new Overseer is picked tomorrow. Everyone's going to move on. By the time we've reformed, who knows if we'll still be in the majority. We can hold the block together. You don't know that. Besides, what if the computer picks you? What if it picks me? And your solution is to start shooting? Not if we don't have to. Look, we arm up. We go to the lower floors, take some strategic targets. Power, food, water. Just until she turns authority over to us. The other blocks won't support it. They're tired of us having the power. We have the majority. We don't need them. This isn't a vote, Roy. They'll fight back. They've never had the nerve. Hell of a way to test it. What's going on?
Looks like break time's over. Looks like break time's over.
Okay. I'll do my best. Congratulations, Martyr. Your fantastic journey is only just beginning. Please proceed to the light. The light is calming and puts your mind at ease. Go to the light. Welcome. Please sit in the chair. The show is about to begin. Greetings, Martyr, and welcome. If you're here now, it means you've been offered up as a sacrifice so that your vault can continue to thrive. Currently, you may be feeling sad or angry. Perhaps you never got to have grandkids or to enjoy the pleasures of a fresh cigar. But march with your chin held high, soldier, and remember that each of us has an important role to play. For some people, their role might be to heal the sick. For others, it might mean they will drive a race car or fly a rocket ship. And some of us are meant to forfeit our lives for the good of the people. Sure, it might not be as fun as driving a race car, but it's every bit as important. Let's take a moment to reflect on the moments that made your life worth living. Think about that time you kissed your steady girl for the first time under the bleachers at the big game. Or when you snuck out after curfew to catch that new flick that your parents wouldn't let you see because it was too scary. Boy, were they right. And who could forget when you met the love of your life? What a looker. These are just examples. Do you feel that feeling stirring in your chest as you think of these things? Good. What you are feeling is peace. You've led a great life. Living it has been its own reward. But it is only the beginning. Close your eyes now and imagine what joys await you in the next life. The afterlife. Can you see them? Good.
What a shame. Just as a warning, my covert bandaging skills are a little rusty. My buddy saw some sort of elite <laughs> flying robot. Man, I must be fucked up. I'm no botanist, but I think this may not be entirely natural. Just as a warning, my covert bandaging skills are a little rusty.
Good to see you. Alive, that is. Have you found all of the components yet? Really? I mean, that's great. I knew you could do it all along. I'll get right to work installing these. Why don't you go tell the Elder the good news? I'm sure it'll be a huge load off of his shoulders. The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? Back again, I see. Have you found all the components we need? <sighs> Good news for a change. Your efforts have humbled me, outsider. You have done more than I could expect, even from my brothers. Moreover, I've been going over the scouts' reports and keep coming up with the same conclusion. The NCR is not the threat I've believed it to be. We should not have had to rely on your help in this crisis. I believed my actions were guided by caution and prudence, but I now see the truth. People called me a hero after what happened at Helios, but I left that battle scarred by fear and have allowed that weakness to govern my actions. That ends now. I will undo the wrong I have done my brethren and lift the lockdown. With luck, we will once again flourish. Please, take this. It is a small token of my thanks, and scarcely begins to repay the debt owed you, but is all I am allowed to give an outsider. This key will allow you to use our safe house to the northeast. I hope it will prove useful in your travels. Welcome, outsider, welcome. The lockdown has been officially lifted, and everyone seems to be in good spirits. With the surface open to us once again, Harden's already started talk of sending a force out to attack Helios, but I hope to dissuade him. What can I do for you? You've certainly earned the right, but I'm afraid there's a slight matter of protocol that must be dealt with first. Exceptional individuals, like yourself, are sometimes allowed to join the Brotherhood if they perform a valuable service for it. While your actions up to this point have been commendable, I am afraid they don't quite qualify as such a service. However, I do have another task that fits the bill rather nicely. Would you consider undertaking it? As one of our patrols discovered, the mutants just to the northeast have become strangely violent in the years we were secluded. However, this turn of events could also be an opportunity. We mostly left the equipment of the communications array there alone, out of respect. As the inhabitants have now proven themselves hostile, no more respect will be accorded them, making their equipment fair game. I want you to head up to the summit of Black Mountain and install this remote signal transmitter in one of their consoles. It will allow us to tap into the radar and other detection systems running there, assuming they're still operational. If we're going to operate on the surface again, it would be nice to do so with as much information at our fingertips as possible. Good luck.
There's nothing here for you, human. Though it is always good to see you. There you are. A few of us wanted to thank you for being such a good friend to the Brotherhood, so we've set aside some of our recycled energy cells. We'll leave a few of them in that footlocker in the corner every so often. The Paladins scoff at using recycled ammo, so no one should mind. Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. Yes, we've already started receiving telemetry from it. This will be a great help in our future efforts, and I thank you. Now then, it is my great honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood for meritorious service above and beyond the call of duty. I'm afraid a formal ceremony was out of the question, given our current state. But I hope this will make up for it. I had the knights refurbish a suit of our power armor for your use. It's one of the earlier models, but it should serve you well. Now I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? First, let's go over how to put it on. There. I think you've got the knack of it now. You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. I've also given the order that all of our equipment be made available to you, not just the more mundane arms. You're a member of the Brotherhood now, and your gear should reflect that. Lastly, you will be allowed to come and go as you please. You've done so much for us that to do otherwise would be a crime. I just ask that you keep the Brotherhood's interests at heart in all your dealings. Remember that you will always have a home here. 